Welcome. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> so this is our home. I guess I'll introduce our home. She's a she. Because <laughs> she is a goddess and she's beautiful. This is our entrance area. And this bench is really cool because Ryan's had it for many years. And I sanded it and then painted it. And it only took me like five months. So very proud of that. And then we have this shelf here, which I really wanted everything to feel kind of, what is the word, like monochromatic? Like where, for example, our couch, it's like beige on beige on beige, and then the shelf, it's like black on black on black. And I kind of liked, I don't know, to me it's calming. Everybody has their different opinions on what is and what is not. This is our living room. It's really, really open. We have custom couch and two, I think they're called sideboards that I was against, but Ryan wanted and he was right. <laughs> we have like very minimal color. Literally the only color we have in here is the red on the books over here. And that's all I was willing to allow. I really, really like, just really like neutral, literally just no color. And so that's kind of what I went for. Everybody really questioned my choice for just having the couch be like beige on beige on beige on beige. But I think I was right, <laughs> as always. <laughs> You'll start to notice that there's like a theme through this house where it's like restoration hardware on top of restoration hardware on top of restoration hardware. <laughs> Most of our home is like you know, RH, CB2, and a lot of TJ Maxx. Like the beach house light over here is actually from TJ Maxx. Something else that's really fun about our home is that a lot of the artwork is actually done by us. So these paintings that we have here on each side of our fireplace was mainly done by Ryan, but... <laughs> And then we just had them framed. We spray painted them white and then had them framed, you know, and what is a home without some like booty from Jonathan Adler? Obviously, very much so needed. Another thing is like something I love about our home is that we have very beautiful light fixtures. And this is obviously one of the favorites. It's like this beautiful, it took us a long time to figure out what it was, but I think it's brass. Brass. <laughs> yeah. At first I thought it was wood, but it is not wood. It is brass. Ba bam. Over this way, this is our powder room to censor out her little boobs. Nobody look, but then also <laughs> look. So in here, what is this like? This is Turkish stone. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool. It's like very textured. Okay, so this is our guest room. Where's Rylan? Is there a Rylan in our bed? What is he doing? We have a little monkey in here. We keep our monkey in here. <laughs> a monkey. You're a monkey. Where is he? Oh! <laughs> yes. He really, really wants to watch helicopters. I can't remember where we got this off of. I think I got this from CB2. Should we put it on helicopters? FYI, this is a completely different day. We forgot to film this room. Well, Mineta was sleeping, and so this is just like a really shit show moment. We don't have mics. I'm wearing one sock. and She sleeps in that little thing. <laughs> For her well, naps. Yeah, for her naps during the daytime. And then we have Rylan who desperately needs helicopters right now. So this is really ridiculous. This chair was from Wayfair. It was literally like $200, which is actually really cheap. It's a good Plus chair. Me. And then this is from CB2. The bed and the nightstands are RH. The, that piece over there is really cool. It's actually from... What's it called? TJ Maxx. And it's awesome. Patio off the back. Yeah. But let's look over here. So like this. I don't know what you call it. Credenza. I just rode up in a 
We have like books like this and this and this is all from TJ Maxx, which is really awesome. But this room is definitely not finished. The credenza is not from TJ Maxx. The what? The credenza. No, not the credenza, but just the decorations. Let's pretend that didn't. That wasn't there. This shower is, or this bathroom is so cute. It's very pretty. Yeah. And so, this is basically her. Yeah, this is basically this bathroom. I don't know what to say. Good job, good job. <laughs> we have one more bedroom we didn't show. Yeah. Ryland's room. But, but we'll whatever. skip that. I'll, I'll, I'll put that in something else. This entire video is kind of like, not so great, but... That's like, oh, that's like your, just, that's your format. That's kind of, that kind of is, I'm seeing how my vlogs and everything are going. It's just kind of shit show, I think is the best way to describe it. It's kind Welcome of like... Welcome to the not so great vlog channel. Yeah, literally. <laughs> All right, thanks. So that's it, basically. <laughs> Once you come in, then you have steps you know, like kind of dividing the living space and the dining and kitchen area. So this is our dining table. It can seat 14 people. We just don't have all the chairs here right now. And right now we're also using it as a baby changing table. Over in this direction, we have our kitchen, which is like very large, really, really beautiful. We have a giant island, you know, a wine rack, very empty wine rack. Here we have prep sinks. So we have two prep sinks and they're built into the marble. These are obviously our high chairs because we have babies. And these are the prettiest high chairs, FYI. And they are also the easiest to clean. I've seen those wooden ones. I don't know what you people are thinking. This is where I cook. <laughs> so we have two ovens which is obviously amazing. I didn't know that, you know, you could set things on roast or bake or whatever. I don't know. Uh, it's really cool. I like it. We use like these cabinets as our pantry. This is a microwave. I also didn't know what this was when we first moved in because it looks real crazy, but it's awesome. <laughs> it's also an induction. Yeah, oven. it does a lot of other things. Um, that I don't know how to do or use. So here we have a patio which has an insane view. It's really, really wet and kind of like miserable weather, which has been all year. This is like our little patio area. And then this is our view, which is like absolutely amazing. So this is all state park land. You can walk down to the trails from, from the backyard. And then this just goes to the top of the world and there's like just hiking trails for days. This way we have another patio that... That's the ocean view patio usually, but... Yeah, usually you can see the ocean That's from all here. ocean, it just is clouds right now. Come on out here. So, so we have this beautiful table and then usually a very beautiful view of the ocean, which we do not have right now, which we have not had all year because it's California is like going through, I don't know, some weird something. So now we're going downstairs. <laughs> Let's start off with our room, which is here. This is our bedroom. <laughs> so we have this headboard here that is custom made for this room and actually Shay designed it who is obviously an amazing interior designer these lights are so beautiful and it's really cool because we had another rug in this room that was way too small and so I went back to RH and I traded it out but they only gave me credit which was enough to buy these lights <laughs> so it like worked out so perfect and the rug that we got was actually way bigger I saw it on the Kardashians. Also, I got these little coasters on Etsy, which I think are so cute. I think it just like, I don't know, makes the room feel very like, I don't know, peaceful, wavy. And then we have these chairs, which are so amazing. 
These are from CB2. These are like one of my favorite pieces of furniture in the entire house. They're so, so comfortable and they're so pretty. And then we have more artwork. This one, I actually did. This is the bathroom. So, it's obviously a really beautiful bathroom. We have my side, which is over here. And then Ryan's side is over here. <laughs> what I realized is that, you know, like there's, when you're decorating a home like this, like for example, this set right here, this is just from Amazon. It's actually really, really cheap and super cute. And I think it suits our home really beautifully. And then there's kind of like expensive things mixed with really inexpensive things. Like this set is from TJ Maxx. So is this pot. And then you have Jonathan Adler candles, which are not super cheap, but you know, like there's a good mix. And then obviously Kailua. Kailua, the best everything in the world, I don't know. <laughs> Over here we have our sauna and I don't use it. Ryan uses it like religiously. It's, what's it called? A red light? Infrared. Infrared light sauna. Yes. <laughs> it's great. I would know because I've used it like once. It's amazing. This is our bathroom. It's kind of crazy. I have like a giant thing of tampons because I have a vagina. Now we're getting deeper, deeper into our bathroom. <laughs> so we have this beautiful tub that like literally is insanely big. Me and Ryan can both fit in this tub. It is crazy. Yet another cool light fixture. So one of my favorite things is that they're like, they don't have that draining thing. So you can fill that water up until you like flooded the whole house, which obviously you don't want to do that. But we have a window that overlooks our patio that also overlooks the canyon. And then when you come around this wall, this is where our shower is. I'm not walking in there cause it's wet. Cause we just showered. Oh, so this is what's behind the wall. We have two shower heads, which, this one caught loose and hit me in the head. And then Ryan just kind of put it back up there and then it hit me in the head the next time I showered. And then it hit me in the head a third time. And now so, I'm traumatized so I only shower on Ryan's side because nope, definitely not happening. I fixed it though. Yeah, he fixed it, but now I have PTSD from shower heads. And you've been hit in the head three times. Hmm, weird. <laughs> I don't even understand what joke you're trying to make, Ryan. Obviously Kailua, because obviously, obviously. So we have this, which we have extremely mixed feelings about, because it's, you know, like an electric, whatever, I don't know, thing that turns on your shower. You can turn it on and you can save settings for the temperature of water that you'd like. But if the electricity goes out, it like resets and sometimes you can't turn on the shower. So it's a little bit like a love-hate relationship, but it's really nice because you can literally just like press one button and it will turn on one or both. You can choose, you know, like, like I said, the temperature and everything. And it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Like, I don't know if you're ready for this. Okay. <laughs> it's so good. I have it like really dark in here right now because I just wanted you to like feel the vibe of it like with the lights. Anyways, this is our closet. Boom, bam. Look at this. Super, very, very big. And it's like, I don't know, obviously one of my favorite parts of the house and will forever make it more difficult when we move into any other home. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this closet. And what's really bad is that the clothes I have here is like what I had from the apartment that we had in Washington when we lived in a one bedroom. And when I dispersed all my clothes out, it filled this closet, which is kind of horrifying. We have, what's it called? Microbial. Antimicrobial mic stone. Yeah, on the ceiling, which is really special, <laughs> even though there's never bugs in here anyways. But it's not about bugs. Oh, well keeps like any kind of uh, mold or anything okay. like that. 
Yeah, but like we, oh, oh. anyways, <laughs> whatever. One of our favorite things, which is really horrible because, okay, when we got this house and then we were gonna set up all the curtains and everything, Ryan wanted to have what I'm about to show you and I argued against it because I was like, I don't want it to look like we're in a cheap hotel. It doesn't. It, it looks like we're in a very nice hotel. So he was right. I was wrong. But we might edit that out because he doesn't need to know this really, even though he's the one filming this. I already know. <laughs> I already know. We turn them off. Then it like completely blackouts our room. We have lights turned on right now, so it's not going to be completely blacked out. But look at this it's amazing usually that closes but i have my laptop plugged in over there so it's not gonna close all the way but we live in a hotel you know he's sleeping so we're gonna be whispering for these parts this is his bathroom obviously a little potty for his little butt and then a big old tub <laughs> I think this is super cute, but first milk. I mean, he doesn't drink milk anymore, but. So this is his bathroom. One thing I really, really love about this house also is just the fact that there's, they have done things so differently in every room, like all the tiles and everything. And it's, they're always like textured or, I don't know, very unique. But this bathroom is really pretty. It's like his bathroom is nicer than any bathroom I've ever had in any place I've ever lived, so. <laughs> and this is our laundry room, which is really tight. We didn't really think, well, it's not us. The people who built it didn't really think it through, but like these tiles are so gorgeous. They're so cool. We have these super giant, you know, machines, which we should have probably done like the ones where you load it in the top or something, because when you open it, it's like super stuffed. And then we also accidentally got like doors opening the wrong way. So they open into each other, but. You can switch them, but we just never did. Yeah. Oh, you can? Yeah. Well, anyways, then back there you got like this really weird, creepy, creepy room. Electric. And... It's very unfinished. And whoever was in this house before us, Wrote some creepy things on the wall. <laughs> Literally though, like this, okay. Fun fact, not so fun fact. This house used to be a like rehab. And when we got it, it was still listed online as being open. And there's weird things written on the wall. Very bad vibes. I don't know. Odd. Very odd. We did a lot of saging and cleansing of the space so it's all good now it says fac you f-a-k clearly on drugs because don't know how to spell but it's very creepy i don't know let's leave this room <laughs> very un kept down here this is our living room it is very large as a lot of the things in this house so it's also very cluttered and looks insane and there's furniture where there's not going to be furniture. So we will go through that and I will sh I'll explain my shame while we're in that part. So shame, shame area right here. This is not meant to be here. This is meant to be hidden somewhere else. It is not, you see it now, shame. So over here we have this painting that needs to be hung up on the wall. Shame, didn't do it, whatever. I feel like this should be moved over there. I'll show you that area afterwards. But let's look at the part that is very awesome. This area. I wish I could tell you the name of the woman who designed this couch because I would tell you to not use her. She produced a very nice couch in the end, but it was completely not what we wanted at all. And it is also custom, so it hurts more. <laughs> Regardless, we have this like beautiful large couch. Our idea was for it to be very, like a very nice family room. We wanted the couch to be really like more like a cloud couch and not be as like stiff nice. 
because we, you know, we designed or we had thought when we designed this couch that kids were going to be jumping on it and family was going to be eating snacks on it. The fabric is actually really, really nice for that. But regardless, this is what we have done here. Like some of the pieces on this table are really like some of my favorites. So I got these books off Amazon. They are um, like, what is that called? Like the Tushin, I'm probably saying it wrong, but they're, you know, those type of books. And then we got this bowl at TJ Maxx for literally $50. And if you have ever looked into buying stone bowls like this, they are not $50. Anyways, this is from, what's it called? Target. <laughs> 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 and then these are Jonathan Adler. I mean, you know, like, it's a little bad, right? But it's kind of fun. You got like a little Viagra Ambien Quaalude. I don't even know what a Quaalude is, but I know that it's something bad, you know? And that makes it a little fun. We have these two, ah, parade. Okay, these two little, <laughs> little side tables. This actually we got on Wayfair, right? And then this one is from RH. This is also like TJ Maxx, and I don't even remember where these things, I think I got these at the grocery store. Anyways, I think it adds like a cute little moment here. The table is, you know, metal on top, and then it's like some type of wood underneath, which is very cool. Over in this area, you have the bar. These chairs are going, they are not going to be here because by now you understand my color scheme, which is not orange. The bar is absolutely amazing. This painting is really funny because Ryan made it, forgot it in the rain. Rylan went out and stepped in it. And then we just put it on the wall because we're like, whatever. <laughs> but this bar area is amazing. There's two fridges and a sink. And then obviously we have these beautiful shelves. We have this mirror that Ryan doesn't want to move over to that wall because it's super heavy apparently. But I think it would look really cool if we put it there and put a neon light on this one and put it in reverse so that it shined the correct words into that mirror. So I feel like you should all tell him to do that. I like it. We'll do it at some point. Over here is a shit show. <laughs> this is meant to be in the bedroom that we're going to show you. This is not meant to be here, but as of right now, it's kind of just easy having this set up this way for, you know, videos or whatever. And then we have these awful paintings that my mom did, not me. You guys saw that in the other vlog, so I cannot take credit for her really horrific painting skill. This is the room of shame. Whatever crap that you don't know what to do with. Yeah, like it's, it's kind of like an art room slash gym slash a DJ set. You know, right, nicely done. Beautifully done. Over here is a guest room. So this is obviously not finished. There needs to be a rug, but it's like going in the direction that it should be. So obviously a lot of these parts like Target and those are from Target, lights from Target. The nightstands are Urban Outfitters. And yeah, one of our dining chairs. <laughs> like I said, the desk out there is supposed to be in here, so it looks a little less, you know, weird, but it's okay. It works. This I got from Urban Outfitters, and I didn't, I, um, what is it, underestimated how tiny it was? Like, it's so small. I thought this was gonna be much larger and it is not. So it looks kind of odd in this room considering how tall the ceilings are because they're very high. This is a light fixture that we had put up. There was, there were no lights. There were no lights in here. I don't even know. This is the bathroom downstairs. This is also not, I mean, whatever, it's fine. This room is fine. You know, this is I think as good as it's gonna get for right now. We have like, you know, this is it. This one's manual though. <laughs> That's a nice bathroom. 
Really? You're good at tours. I am like a tour genius. I could sell our house. <laughs> All right. So now we're getting into the backyard. Ugh, I'm wearing socks. Welcome. Welcome to the land. When we moved in here, let's just talk about these plants for a moment because they were literally, I don't even know, 10 times smaller than this. I mean, they were probably this big and you could see the canyon. And how has it long been? Like two years or something? And now they're so big, you cannot see anything. And like, how do you trim these? You don't trim them. That's how you do that. You don't, you just, what, we're undig gonna them? To, yeah, replace all these with something else. I mean, they're really cool plants, but you can't see nothing. Yeah, it blocks the, the whole thing. For this way, we have like a little swing that we kept for Rylan and, well, actually we kept it for my dad and stepmom's daughters, <laughs> really. And then this, you know, we haven't had somebody come clean this up yet, but they will. So you have a hammock over here that is slightly falling apart. And then this is the backyard area, which is amazing. Needs a little bit of grooming though. You can go ahead because I don't have shoes on. So you can guide the people, guide the people, Ryan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I Whoa, are there fell. onions down there? I, don't, I think you'll be fine. I don't see any wetness if you want to come down. Really? Here. My dad planted onions the last time he was here. Oh my gosh, let's get one. Do you think they're ready? This is a pear tree. Oh, look at her. She's got more leaves. These are big agave plants. Oh my goodness, look at this. This one has like little pepper things on it. Wait, do you think these are ready? I don't know. Should we take one? Oh no! Wait, is this just what it is? This is the food. Green onions? Yeah. I thought they were onion onions. I don't know. Maybe they turn into onions. <laughs> oh God, this is horrible. You're a good farmer. Well, now we have to take this because I kind of did that. Yeah. Oy vey. Well, I'm going to do like that and then I'm going to throw this. Oh my goodness. Look at that fig tree. It is huge. That thing needs to be cut. What's this one? A lemon tree? That's lemon. a lemon tree. This is a mandarin tree. It's looking a little rough. And then we have our fig tree who really needs to be cut down because this is like insane. But there's some figs coming. Oh yeah, already, huh? We got to make sure to like collect those figs. No, you get away from my hair, girl. Talking to a bee. Anyways. So then we have this area which we have cushions and whatnot, but they are not up. So we have this fire pit that we have never used. <laughs> Ryan's dad and, how do you say it? Stepmom stayed here and they used it. So that's nice, <laughs> but it looks cool. <laughs> Usually there's cushions and things, but we don't come out here often enough to actually put the cushions on there. It smells very oniony. Do these turn into onions? Or is green onion the food? <laughs> oh God, are you just really? <laughs> you come up along this side, you got all these steps that lead up to our pool. And this is honestly such a like romantic space. <clears throat> I mean, I think it's very beautiful. I'm coming. <laughs> okay. That's it, basically. Well, thank you for watching. This is our house. I know you guys have been asking for this video. This feels really stupid holding this. I like it. <laughs> you guys have been asking for this for a while, so I hope this is satisfactory. Because <laughs> this is kind of as good as it's going to get today. And we're thinking about moving anyway. Yeah, so I figured... <laughs> Why not show you the house before we sell it, before we get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> but we love her. She's treated us very well. We appreciate and love 
her. Yes. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.